using 3D models for fine art sculpture, presentations, reference, and armature. Today we'll be using Poser, Photoshop, DAS 3D models, and digital milling. The first time I was introduced to the possibility of using 3D models with my sculpture presentations was with a sculpture of a young girl named Ellie. The parents wanted something created for her cemetery plot, perhaps exhibiting the gift heart that she created for the MD Anderson Cancer Center. Instead, I had an idea of putting her with her sketch pad drawing the gift heart. Other things of importance in the sculpture were her love of butterflies and her stuffed bunny. By using Poser and Photoshop, I worked with a friend to create this for my presentation. It assisted my clients in visualizing my direction and we were able to put the simulated sculpture into a scene. I quickly began to realize the importance of these graphic tools in my sculpture studio. The final sculpture is similar to the presentation, but has a life of its own. In the second project, a life-size sculpture of Lucas, I used Poser to create a 3D model. I had wanted to create him as a little boy, towel tied as a cape that would flutter behind him as he ran playing Batman. Now you have never seen a challenge until you have tried to get a five-year-old model to run in pose. It was impossible to get the reference that I needed. So instead, we once again utilized Poser, posing one of the 3D children in a running position. This gave me the opportunity to see what my sketch would look like all the way around the figure. The parents could also give an approval on the sculpture. Understanding, of course, that the poser figure was just to get a pose and not actually looking like their child. Here is the final bronze sculpture. Now it was time to try poser on my own, and this time we'll take the poser 3D model right to armature. Baby Jenna was to be created for a cemetery plot. Her parents were unsure of the pose. I downloaded Millennium Baby from Daz 3D. Using previously modeled 3D figures offers me the opportunity of posing them without having to create an entire 3D model from scratch. Though sometimes with these projects the difficulty is finding the correct proportion child. I also downloaded Moon Baby Clothes and Cherub Wings. These other elements that aid in preparing the presentation are a small investment but will be in my digital library to use on future projects. You can also purchase poses to further aid you in your direction. Once again, using these poses to pose your 3D image is much easier than beginning from scratch to move a 3D model from what is known as neutral position. It was so much fun to pose the baby in these different poses, and I found that it actually stimulated my creative process. Once again, the applications of Poser, along with purchase models, help me to create several ideas for sculpture. I can even show the interaction of the headstone with the sculpture, and both myself and my client could view the design from all directions. And being able to view the 3D image from all directions also helped me to tweak the design. A ball was added as an additional element. It would be replaced later by a 3D butterfly. In the final pose, the ball is changed to the butterfly, and I position the baby's left hand in the sign language symbol of I love you. Once an approval was received, I decided to try another entirely new process, at least it was for me with my work, digital milling. I contacted the creative people of Blue Genie in Austin, Texas, and prepared to send them my poser file. Blue Genie is one of several companies in the United States that mills 3D images from foam and the image can be enlarged and milled to any size. The 3D image that is milled must be watertight. This simply means that the mesh that creates the 3D model of the baby is solid and has no holes. We fix these holes by using a digital program called 3DS Max, but Blue Genie could have fixed the files as well. Blue Genie then divides the 3D images up within their computer into several parts for milling. I just wanted a foam armature of the body. I planned on sculpting the dress. There were some errors in the 3D model, however, because I planned on adding quite a bit of clay to this foam armature, the errors were not important. Blue Genie mills my 3D baby out of two substances. Polystyrene is less expensive 
and was used for the body, and a higher density foam was used to carve the intricate hands and wings. Corrections can be made to the foam by simply rasping the foam and carving it to the artist's specifications. The foam was glued together and then covered with wax and clay. Though milling foam does add cost to your final product, it also can save a tremendous amount of time in building life-size armatures. This was for a small baby, but the same thing can be simulated for monumental pieces, saving much time in creating armatures. Digital technology crosses the bridge between computer graphics and the fine art studio to create a wonderful heirloom piece.